A jury has convicted two men of conspiring to kidnap Michigan's Democrat Governor Gretchen Whitmer in 2020. Adam Fox and Barry Croft Jr. were also found guilty Tuesday of conspiring to obtain a weapon of mass destruction. Four months ago, a different jury could not reach a unanimous decision on the verdicts. Now each man faces life in prison. Arpan Lobo has been following this story. He's a reporter for the Detroit Free Press. Arpan, thanks for being here. So what did we learn about the plot and the suspects in this trial? Right. Matt, this is the second trial against uh, Fox and Croft in particular, but in this case against the conspiracy to kidnap Governor Whitmer back in 2020, a lot of the evidence presented in the second trial was very similar to what was shown in the first trial. Audio recordings of these men discussing their plans about an attack on the government, it evolved through different stages. At first, there were discussions about storming Michigan's capital, similar to what we saw on January 6th of 2021. Then it developed into uh, firebombing uh, Michigan State police cars in Lansing. Eventually, before it circled on a plot to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer from her vacation home in the northern part of the state. Uh, before that happened, though, the men, six men, uh, were ultimately arrested, uh, largely in part due to FBI undercover informants who gathered intelligence and those audio recordings that were played in the trial. So a, a lot of the content in the trial was particularly the different plans, but also a lot of the recordings about just the the rhetoric these uh, individuals had, kind of anti-government views. They were particularly frustrated with COVID-19 restrictions, as a lot of people were back in 2020. And ultimately, though, as the uh, federal government prosecutors said today, they can be fed up. But when you uh, take it too far as what happened, at least in this case, there will be consequences. So one of the federal prosecutors said that the defendant's goal was to not necessarily capture Governor Whitmer, but it was to, quote, set off a second American civil war. So the question that everyone, I think, has is why was Gretchen Whitmer the target of this plot? Right. I think that's a great question. Uh, as, as I mentioned, the, the COVID uh, restrictions in particular were a point of frustration. Michigan, like a lot of other states, had uh, health restrictions in place back then. To deal with the pandemic, Michigan was among the states hit a bit harder at times. Uh, Governor Whitmer became a target after Adam Fox and Barry Croft were connected online. In particular, when you mentioned the American Revolution, uh, Barry Croft had a uh, a lot of Facebook posts about being a patriot. He had a tattoo with the, the three on it, talking about being part of the three percenters group kicking off this American Revolution or Second Civil War, referred to as a boogaloo uh, at times, was meant to be the uh, what was going to be kicked off by kidnapping Governor Whitmer. Well, Whitmer herself said these plots are, quote, a disturbing extension of radicalized domestic terrorism that festers in our nation, threatening the very foundation of our republic. So are officials there in Michigan worried about more extremism, or plots, especially leading up to more elections? I don't know if uh, elected leaders in Michigan are, are particularly worried about more plots like this, but I will say that a lot of elected officials are incredibly concerned, as Governor Whitmer's statement indicated, about the rhetoric going on, uh, as particularly heading into November. Uh, the Republican endorsed a candidate for Attorney General Matthew DiPerno after the first trial resulted in no convictions, was posting memes on Twitter kind of making fun of Governor Whitmer uh, and this case. And so there has been a lot of concern about not uh, exactly uh, condemning these types of uh, this type of rhetoric. And so uh, state officials, particularly uh, Governor Whitmer, but also Attorney General Dana Nessel, are hopeful that today's convictions can kind of send a message that this rhetoric will not fly anymore. All right. Great reporting, Arpan Lobo. Thank you for that. Thanks for having me.